Okay, we're here with the winners of the secondary documentary film. Um, and we've got some familiar faces from the past couple of years. So Des, tell us about the film. Um, so this was a film uh, called Huelga, Delano's Cry for Equality. And uh, we investigated the Delano grape strikes of the 1960s and 70s and uh, the impact of Cesar Chavez and Robert Kennedy and Dolores Huerta on those movements, uh, which effectively uh, advanced the rights of individuals, uh, of migratory workers within California and around the United States. And uh, throughout this process, we were able to talk to many great people who were involved in this movement. And uh, ultimately, it just was really great to put together this documentary. You guys do such great work. Uh, we've really enjoyed seeing your work over the past few years. Um, tell me a little bit about putting the movie together, uh, what kind of time, uh, what kind of tools you're using. Um, well, there are three stages to the movie, obviously, to, to making any film. You know, you have the pre-production, uh, you have the production, the filming of everything, kind of acquiring the, um, you know, pictures or interviews, uh, and then thirdly, you have the post-production. So each segment takes a different amount of time. Uh, with the case of our historical documentary, there was a lot of research. We had weeks and weeks of research that were leading up to just kind of finding out about the movement, figuring out what we needed to, to put in our documentary, because obviously this was a, you know, 10-year movement that we have to condense to a, a, a five-minute period. So. Um, um, that was originally that. Nick was in charge of getting our, our interviews. He got Dolores Huerta, who was kind of the figurehead of the movement. Uh, we were able to schedule an interview. We had to wait a few months for it. Uh, finally got it. Um, and so I'd say probably pre-production, I'd say maybe three months or so, four months. I mean, we started discussing it kind of in the summer of, of last year. and. Um, I'd say production and the editing total, I, I would put, estimate maybe about 24 hours, 30 hours. So That's a lot of uh, time on top of your schoolwork mm -hmm. and that, but uh, your efforts shine through and you guys have done great work over the years. Uh, Thank David, you. Thanks. you're a senior, you're graduating. We're all seniors here. Yeah. You're all seniors. All of so us. The, lose the all. team's breaking up next year. Uh, okay. so, yeah. so are you all off to college? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. uh, are any of you going into filmmaking? Uh, I am. Actually, I was accepted to USC. Um, they're one of the best film programs in the world. Um, so I'm looking to pursue acting and then maybe a minor in, in film. Uh, those are kind of both my passions. So uh, that's kind of the goal for me. Uh, these guys, if they want to talk a little bit about what they want to go into. Oh. Yeah. So from doing all of these historically related documentaries over the years, I actually started to take up a really good interest on how social groups kind of started to work with each other. So I suppose for my college choice, I'll be headed off to uh, New York City this fall um, at NYU. And I'll actually be studying a mix of business and political economy, which I think had, you know, was greatly influenced by the years I had with my great mates here. So. And uh, me, I, I don't know exactly where I'm going to college yet, but I'll pursue a career or an education in history just because that's something I love. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting to look toward the future. And, yeah, it's sad that we're breaking up. We're sad, too. You guys have been great contributors, and congratulations on your win Thank again you. this year. And an amazing film and a, an amazing three-year, four-year run in the film festival. Thanks so Thank much, and, and best luck in the future. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.